In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own custom YouTube end card. So as mentioned in the introduction to this video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own custom YouTube end card so that you can place the next video for your subscribers or your viewers to watch and keep them engaged with your YouTube channel. If you would like to get started without me showing you how this works, then click that link in the description down below and download the plugin that's available for Final Cut Pro 10 users and you can start creating your YouTube end card right now. If you're still watching, you want me to show you exactly how to do this and what this is and how it's done with ease and you made a good decision and we can click on that link at the end of the video or when you're finally satisfied that I'm showing you the right thing for you. So as mentioned, this is available for Final Cut Pro 10 users. But if you're not a Final Cut Pro 10 user, an FCPX user, definitely stick around because you will learn something about creating your very own custom elements on screen, including a YouTube subscription button, and including a YouTube end card. So let's dive in. I'm gonna show you how to create your very own custom YouTube end card with ease using the plugin that is available at Pixel Film Studios. So here we are inside of Final Cut Pro 10. I'm gonna walk you through how we're going to create this end card using the plugin that is available at Pixel Film Studios. And the first thing you will need to do is navigate your way to the browser and select the titles and generators. Once this folder is open, what we're going to do is we're going to look for the FCPX social media mega pack. But before we do this, we're going to close the inspector and I'm going to stretch this out so we can see more of our browser titles. So I'm just going to stretch this over a little bit here. You can see that we have the titles folder selected. With the titles folder selected, we're going to use the search and we're going to search end screen. I have been calling it an end card, I do know. Uh, but it, you want to search end screen and this is what we are using here within this demonstration. Now, just to give you an idea of what's available here, I'm going to preview some of these on screen so you can see what is available when you purchase this plugin from Pixel Film Studios. Here are a few of the styles of the end screens that are currently available. But remember that we will have more available to us because Pixel Film Studios will be updating this plugin package that you purchase from Pixel Film Studios. But here are the ones that are available to you from day one of downloading this plugin. Now before we make our selection I'm still going to show you just the variety that is available here. I like that one. I think we'll be using that one for this demonstration. As you can see each end screen has different elements on screen. For example there are different amount of social media elements and so forth but you can toggle how many social media elements you have on screen and you can also toggle and change the colors and the animations of these end screens. And we're going to dive into that in a moment. I just want to show you a little bit more of what's available. I like that stylistic approach, very summary. And if it suits your channel, of course, you could select this and you could use this on a regular occurrence. For example, my recent end screen is made with this plugin. Now you can see this one here. We're going to use this one for our demonstration. It's valid to mention that this, if you drag it into the timeline, has a transition that doesn't actually mold itself into a piece of media onto the end of a piece of media. For example, when you use a transition within Final Cut, it will create the transition for you. This does not do that. Instead, what you will need to do is place the generator on top of a piece of media using layers and that will then make the transition take effect on screen. Otherwise, it will have the end card fading in from black if you are using the transition that is given with the end screen. For example, what I've just shown you here is where I've used a layering technique to drag that piece of media on top so the transparent alpha layer can be on top of the piece of media, which is what a crossfade 
would do if you enter a transition fade and drag a transition but if this is making you very confused you can see on screen what I'm explaining and this is what you will need to do with the end card at the moment at this current time if you're using this plugin for your end cards now let's open up the title inspector on this end card to give you an idea of what you can do with this end card and what you can toggle with ease. You can see that you can adjust the media height and width and that is the media box over to the left there. You can change the header title. The header title in this instance is enjoy new videos daily. You can change this to whatever you like. Here I'm going to type more Fortnite videos. Uh, just to give you an idea of how freely you can change the text and it's also placing itself in the correct position on screen nice and easy no issues there you can also change the colors on screen as well for example we are changing the media source there because that is where you replace your next video or a video within when you're uploading a video to youtube and you're creating your end card completely that is where you will place the media if you're using the placeholder technique you can see me changing the color of those boxes nice and easy and you can also insert a profile image now i'm going to use a piece of media here to give you an idea of how easy it is i've literally just selected a frame from a video now i'm not going to scale this because we're going to use a different piece of media in a moment but just to give you an idea already on how easy this end card is being created we've changed the header title we've given it a profile picture we have changed the colors of the media boxes which is still transitioning with an animation and we are still going to do more so let's move down in this end card giving you complete freedom over what you do with this template that we're using here you can also change the color of the background so we're going to use a black here but you can see that clashes with the text you can now not see the text uh, it was given a sort of hypnotic feel and look there but you can also change this with the color spectrum that is given as well uh, here i'm using a more faded red as opposed to a deep red uh, just to give you uh, some variation here and the idea that we're coming with in this video for an end card now it's very very easy for me to change the opacity of that effect there i'm changing the opacity of the red rings that are appearing on screen and making them sort of fade to give them a sort of contrast to the deep red boxes that appear on the right hand side what i'm showing you is how easy it is to toggle these end cards and how easy it is to create we're now going to focus on the social media elements that are given with this template generator i'm going to change the social media name down here to give it a different name i'm going to call it instagram and i'm also going to change another one to twitter to show you how easy that is that could be your twitter link or the end of your twitter link or the end of an instagram link skipping ahead here you can see that i have then began to experiment a little bit more with this plugin and what it can do with this one template you can also use the font inspector to change the text sorry the text inspector to change the text into a different font or a different color face here i'm using a different color face as this is how you would change the font within the end card as you cannot do this within the title inspector so moving over to the text inspector you can see that i can now change the color of the font i can also use the on-screen controls to highlight the the text that i want to change then going into the inspector i can change the color of this font with ease mega easy mega quick look at that looking great this plugin is amazing definitely one for you to check out if you are a final cut pro 10 user but also one for you to look out for if you are video editing and want somebody to edit videos for you because this is another reason why you may be watching this video or to see what pixar film studios are creating for you with your editing now we're going to change the color of the font down below as well so that they match and already you can see this end card coming along with its own stylistic approach i'm now going to add a profile image so i'm going to change the circular image that appears on screen of course this matches my current display picture for my youtube channel and that is amazing 
because we what we will do is when you see the end card within the video on YouTube and I've used the end card feature that YouTube have on offer I can place that seamlessly you won't even notice the difference between the video and the end card as it's put in the correct place and with the correct measurements so you won't need to measure out where you are placing things pixel film studios have already thought about this and they have tried and tested this plugin obviously clearly with the current youtube features which is why i think they will update this plugin as of course youtube is constantly updating and changing features here i've just added two display pictures to the social media elements that appear at the bottom of the end card now let's have a quick look at what we've got so far interesting and that's coming up next nice a very nice end card there we've kept it nice and simple for this demonstration but i'll also show you the full featured end card that we've just created here throughout this whole entire video nice easy quick saves time and is a great plugin from pixar film studios now let's have a look at what we have just created in full screen so you can see the full effect. Here's me talking on screen. The end card is about to appear. Three, two, one. Let's have a look. Don't forget that the link to this plugin is in the description of this video. Click that to download and get started. So I guess you're wondering, what's the catch? This is amazing. I can now create a YouTube end card with ease. What else is there? Well, you know what else there is? There's more. This plugin is called a social media pack. It is not made just for YouTube end cards, but there is a lot more on offer that you get when you download this plugin today. You can make YouTube end cards, YouTube subscription buttons, and other social media elements that you can place on screen. And that's just to mention just a few of the things that you get available to you when you download and purchase this plugin available from Pixar Film Studios today. If you've enjoyed this video or it's been helpful to you at all, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more Anthony Allen content like this. I've built playlists for you to make finding content on my YouTube channel easier so you can find what you're looking for. But don't click away, I have more content for you that you will find interesting if you've made it this far in this video. And that content is coming up in the end card right about now.